<laughs> well, that was a colorful point. Yeah, that's not the kind of point Ferrer wants to get involved in, though, where he gets toyed around with. Nadal using the nice drop shot and then great hands with that little lob volley. And Nadal really possesses some soft hands. The volley has improved an awful lot. Oh, we yeah. saw that at Wimbledon. And we're seeing the speed of Ferrer. I mean, <laughs> look at that. It looked like the Energizer Bunny on that one. And a little 360 there. Oh, nice touch on that. Good stop volley from. Ferrer showing he's got game all court. Well, the other thing is this approach isn't particularly good, but he still has Nadal off the court, and then he anticipates. He guesses where that ball is going to go, and that's why he's able to move forward and hit the drop volley. How's that for some feel at the net? Gorgeous touch and uh, nothing wrong with the wheels tonight. Nadal just spreading the court, keeping Ferrer on the run, and then sensing that he's got control of the point, and he moves forward right away. He's come in three times, has won all three of those points. I love that little slice backhand volley because it's safe. Either one of these guys would would figure to get past him. Then he had to go five today. Oh, that's discouraging. How's Nadal moving right now? <laughs> Fer Ferrer made a good play, and most guys wouldn't have gotten anywhere near the ball. buy a lot of beer for doing that to him <laughs> you play with fire you get burned oh but that was I mean he made a good shot Ferrer I mean not many guys would have got there and if they got there to make that kind of a shot when they did that's a little rare very good year 48 wins 18 losses in match play a couple of victories tournaments but really good feet another example there 30 15 you know, here's the shot that no one had 20 years ago, the inside-out mm. forehand, and now everybody has yeah. it. Except me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well done. He outlasted him on that point. Put some miles on Nadal's sneakers in the process. Once again, Ferrer going to the backhand, having to come up with an amazing little drop volley. I don't think he could have made it that good if he tried. And then he responded again with the little angle with Nadal at the net. That is by far the best point that we've seen Ferrer play tonight. Absolutely terrific. Gets him to deuce. Just all he could do was kind of hack at that little half volley, and, uh, and then he reacted so well to get to the ball for the winner.
That certainly gets a rise out of the crowd. What a job by David Ferrer. I mean, they were both great on the point, but Ferrer was just all over the place, and he winds up uh, almost justly with the winner. Look at the hands of Ferrer just deadening that ball. Absolutely gorgeous. Making the ball stop. Don't tell me this guy isn't a good, <laughs> efficient volleyer. Boy, no, no, no question. Solid play there by Nadal to get to that ball and crush it away. Ferrer continuing to play very aggressively and it's paid off for him. He's down four points to two here in the tie break. You know, that's why when you come in, the volley's got to be almost perfect. Otherwise, Nadal's going to just get there and make you pay for it. Adios pelota. Yeah, you don't want to. Uh, you don't want to hit the net at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's best to not hit the net at all. Now that guy will appear from nowhere to put it away. There, but he can hit great shots from closer in and not, not be out of position. See, Ferrer is going. He's going to stay right where he is. Now he's up where he can make a play. Ferrer's speedy guy. Ill-conceived drop shot, though, and that to me is a little bit of a sign of panic from Nadal. He's got control of the point. Why not take this forehand and come in? Instead, he goes for a poorly a played scooper. drop shot. Yeah. He saw it well before it was hit. Yeah. 30-15. The pair of legs with the racket on their way again. Look at this guy. He doesn't know the word die. Lightning rod from the backhand of Ferrer, and once again he is controlling the points and the tempo. Nadal behind the baseline, Ferrer stepping in, taking the ball on the rise, plenty of clearance over the net, and even for someone as quick as Nadal is, he can't run this ball down. Just too much land to cover, too much real estate. He was crushed by that guy. Golbus and lost to Carlos Moya today. Good looking young player. <laughs> That's just really good play from David Ferrer. Rafael Nadal. Well, he's going to be just wondering what he's got to do to turn this around. It's, it's not like this is some stranger out here that he hasn't seen before and doesn't know how to play. On the contrary. Everything now going Ferrer's way, anticipating beautifully, hitting the right shots, and being able to have pinpoint accuracy. He's just two points away from getting a double break. Right. That's what you got to do. You got to spread the court. And you got to be willing to come forward to end the point. There's no reason why why he wouldn't or shouldn't. I mean, that's that's a part of his game, but it just disappeared for a bit. But you can't be doing it from 10 feet behind the baseline. Mm -hmm. First of all, you can't hit that angle shot from there, and secondly, you'd never get to anywhere near the net. Just see if he just starts to try and take charge inside the court. play that time. And he made up his mind that when he got that ball, 
to Ferrer's forehand. He was going to charge off the backhand, and that's exactly what happened. But we haven't seen much of that. Very little. Love 30. Continues to have lots of success at the net. Has only lost three points all night. Swat at it. The baby bull really making the big bull look bad on that one. What a shot. I mean, Nadal did everything right on that point. Got charged at the baseline. Got the short ball went in. I mean, that is a circus shot from Ferrer. Never give up is the motto of David Ferrer. And a lunging forehand with Nadal cutting off the court. Ferrer going from one end to the other. And what topspin. You saw him coming yeah. on the side of that yeah. ball. The boss in there. Some positive signs of emotion from Nadal. That's what the crowd wants to see. This is the guy they know and love. And that's what he needs to do more of. He needs to be able to take control of the points earlier on. A lot of it made possible by some good serving when he was in trouble there. So the break opportunity lost by Ferrer. Well, that's not going to be good enough. That might be. No. Ole, David, Ferrer, you're into the quarterfinals with a win over the number two seed. Rafael Nadal, your Spanish pal. But it's your night tonight. David Ferrer. Three hours and 28 minutes of match time, finishing at 10 minutes to two in the morning.